Tracking your most accurate forecast, I'm meteorologist Jorge Torres. We had a very eventful Wednesday in Arizona with rain, heavy amounts at times, and heavier snow in part to the high country. We still have those winter weather alerts through at least Thursday morning. And in fact, we're not done yet with the wintry weather over the next several days. Here's a look at Futurecast showing you the storm that produced all the rain and snow on Wednesday. It'll move on out beginning Thursday morning, but we'll get some lingering moisture to give us another round of shower activity Thursday afternoon, mainly favoring areas across central and northern Arizona. And then we'll dry off for at least a day or so before the chance of rain returns late on New Year's Eve and in the beginning of New Year's Day. We see that chance of rain and snow return to the state right around midday or so and last through the afternoon and evening. And then we'll stay on the cooler side throughout next week with more rain and snow in the forecast beginning on Tuesday. So a very active setup in our forecast. Notice those chances for rain. So we're about 40%, just some scattered showers here and there. We'll get a little break on Friday for the majority of Saturday, but by New Year's Day, that chance of rain goes up once again to 80% here in the valley, down to 10% Monday, and it goes up again beginning Tuesday of next week. So a very active pattern indeed. Tonight, cold up in the high country with lows in the teens and 20s from the Grand Canyon to Flagstaff, 30s in Pace and Prescott and Sedona, with 40s and 50s throughout the lower deserts, with highs tomorrow staying in the 30s up to the north there in Flagstaff. Window Rock 2 with a high of 38, 48 in Winslow, 54 in Globe, and 60s as you head from Tucson and Casa Grande to the west. Yuma, one of the warmer spots with a high of 66. Across the valley tonight, we'll keep overnight lows actually above average by a few degrees, anywhere from 47 in Cave Creek in Scottsdale to 49 in Gilbert, Chandler, and Ahwatukee, all close to 50 degrees. With highs tomorrow, staying in the lower 60s. A few spots remaining in the 50s, including Cave Creek and Anthem, 56 and 57 respectively, but most locations right around 60 to even 61 there in Tempe, Mesa, and Glendale too. Either way, these highs are below average by about 4 to 5 degrees. Your 7-day forecast showing those temperatures remaining in the lower 60s for highs through at least Friday. A little warmer on New Year's Eve with a slight chance of an evening shower, but look at that New Year's Day forecast. The chance of rain skyrocketing to 80% once again, and then cooler temperatures next week with highs only in the 50s on Monday and Tuesday and those lows remaining in the 40s. So it looks like it will be a wet and cooler end to 2022 along with a wet and cooler start to 2023. With that chance of rain on New Year's Day now at 80% here in the valley.